All right, welcome back. So on the last episode, part one of this three-part series, we talked about managing your photos and how to um, some some ways to organize them quickly, effectively, efficiently, and to deal with large amounts of libraries. In this part, I'm going to show you some really really cool features about uh, Picasa. Namely, with Picasa, you can send your pictures directly to Walgreens or Walmart or wherever many places that you. Uh, um, may pick up your photos from so you don't actually have to take the chip down to them and uh, Plug it into their thing and then wait for the the process to happen You can just send it to them and then once uh, you're ready to go shopping there You can pick up your pictures when you're ready a lot of people do that already through the web interface for example Walgreens you log into Walgreens website and you can um, Upload your pictures there. However, you can do that directly from Picasa also most useful to me is that you can share your pictures directly from Picasso directly onto Facebook. Now you need a plugin in order to do that, so I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to start off with that. So <clears throat> here we have Picasso, and uh, down here we can add different buttons that we want to appear. Right now we need to install the plugin first. So after you have Picasso installed, we will go over to our browser, and then we'll just do a search for um, Picasso Facebook Upload and let's see if that comes up. There it is, right there. Very first item. Um, Picasa uploader on Facebook. So we'll click this, and we have this big install now button. What this will do is install a plugin into your Picasa to allow you to upload pictures that you select into your Facebook. Go ahead and click install now, and we'll do this launch application. And then right here, uh, launching Picasa and import buttons. It's asking, do you want to do that? Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now that's done. Um, this window right here, you can go ahead and just say OK to, and if you do, everything's said and done, right? However, you're missing the button right here, and that's what that window was saying. That window was saying, what buttons do you want to add? What custom buttons do you want to add down here? So to bring that back up, I can simply right-click down here and select Configure Buttons. Brings back up that same window that we had. Now, the two that I like to use are this Facebook uploader, so we'll click on that and hit the Add button, and then it puts it over here. And also the order prints is kind of nice, so I'll add that one as well. So you have both of these here. And if I hit OK, now you see both of these appear down here. Now, say that I want to upload uh, this picture, and uh, let's find, uh, this is kind of an interesting picture, and this one right here. And by the way, if you watched the last uh, tutorial, I was able to cherry pick these by holding down the control button. Alternatively, if you also watch the other video and you starred photos, let, in fact, let's use the starred example instead. You went through your pictures in the last tutorial, you starred the ones that you like, but these ones we don't really care to share, but the starred ones we really like and want to share. So if I go up here to show the starred ones, so here's our starred pictures. Now what I can do is highlight all of these, and then just click this Facebook button. Once that comes up, the Facebook uploader is going to start uploading, go ahead and say upload. And you see down here it says posting. What it's doing is it's shrinking the picture so that it nicely goes up through the uh, uploading process. Now, it's asking me what album do I want to put it into. If you are not signed into Facebook, then it may ask you to sign into Facebook before doing this, which is perfectly fine. So what I'm going I don't want to use a default photo, the Picasa album. Um, I don't want to use an existing one. You see here's all of the uh, existing albums. I want to create a new one, and we'll call this Demo Facebook Upload. I can enter all the information that I want. To, well, I'll chip put this on everyone because I don't care who sees it. And then I'll hit send to Facebook. You get the starting upload process, uploading photo one of five. You notice in the top left over here. So you see how quick and, and efficiently it shrinks the photos for you, it makes them the right size, it logs into your Facebook, and it's tossing them up, up on Facebook. Considerably less amount of steps than having to do this um, um, all manually by yourself through the Facebook uploader. It's on 3 of 5 now, and we'll just sit here and wait for this. 4 of 5, and 5 of 5. Once it's done, your photos have been successfully uploaded. I'm going to click to the go to the album button, and here are my five photos. Do you want to approve these photos? Yes, I want to approve all of these photos. And bada bing, bada boom, like magic, these five pictures are now available on my Facebook. To me, that's way easier. Since you're going to be managing your photos anyways through Picasa, that allows you a one-click option to upload your pictures. You just select the ones that you want and hit Facebook, choose your album, and there you go. Now it's on Facebook. Okay? The other feature that I wanted to show you 
was um, the uh, shopping po portion. Um, also, uh, there is a share button. If you click the share button here, what it's going to do is put it in your Picasa web albums, which um, then allows if you have a if you have a Google account, you most likely have a Picasa account also, and then those pictures are also shared on the internet, and then you can give somebody a link directly to that. Um, so let's just go ahead and do it. Now you don't. I don't. I don't want to log into this right now. Um, but you can share them directly on Picasa, and then you can send anybody, whether they have a Facebook account or not, they can view those pictures through Picasa. So might be a good way for people that aren't familiar with Facebook if you want to share pictures with them. Also, um, down here, you can email. So if I have these five pictures selected and email, then it's going to ask me, I think by default, it's using my, my uh, Outlook account. If you have a Gmail account, it can also send them to your Gmail account. So that's kind of nice. One note before we go on to the shopping part, when you email pictures, you have to make sure that the pictures are a decent size. These pictures are way too big to be sent through email. Each one of them is five megabytes. Most email systems have a limit of 10 to 20 megabytes total. So you need to shrink down the pictures before emailing them if that's how you're going to share them as opposed to using Picasa or I mean, um, Picasa web, the online storage space or Facebook to shrink these photos. We will have them selected and then we can go to file and then export, which is, which is right here, export pictures to folder. And then the great thing about this, it's saying export location on the desktop, exported start photos. Make sure that you select your desktop or wherever you want to put them and then name the folder. We'll just call this demo. And then right here, this is the key thing image size. Do you want to use the original size? If you do that, then you're just going to get exact copies. I want the pictures to actually be smaller. So I'm going to say resize to, and then I can pull this down a little bit. And uh, that's going to be a pretty decent size. That'll make the pictures significantly smaller. Um, you can do these other features. We're not going to cover that stuff. I go ahead and hit the export button. And once I do that, I get this folder that opens up and it shows me the demo. And here are my five pictures that I have exported. And the total size of all of them is 2.17 megabytes as opposed to five megabytes per picture, which would have been 25 megabytes. So we drastically reduce these in size. This makes it effective for you to be able to send your pictures. You would not be able to send five pictures at super high quality through most mail systems. Just to say what may already be obvious, once these five pictures are here, if you use the email button right here, it's going to send the original quality ones. So you want to make sure and you attach those five pictures um, that are exported to wherever you did in my example on the desktop. You want to make sure that those are the ones that you attach. So you essentially have two copies of these pictures. You have a really high quality and then you have the exported reduced quality that you would send as email. Um, so, and then last, uh, the other thing down here, uh, the shopping button. Now, if you click the shop button here, you can choose any of these places where you may get your pictures taken care of. Lots of different sources, some of them through the mail that will just send them to you. There's Walmart photos, Walgreens photos. I actually don't have an account with any of these. Shutterfly, you know, I think I have a Shutterfly. Um, but you can select any one of these, Walgreens photos. You log in with your username and password, which by the way means that you already have to have a Walgreens account, but if you have the Walgreens account, then you can enter that information. If you don't, there's a create an account button, which will take you to the Walgreens website. You can create your account information here. Once that account information is created, then you can just plug that into here. And just like that Facebook plugin, it'll take it, it'll upload it to Walgreens for you. It'll take you to the order screen and you just submit your order. So again, very, very nice features that allow you to skip a whole bunch of steps and take care of things quickly. Also, I guess while we're at it here, we will talk about uh, printing briefly. We will select this picture right here. This is a good one. And we'll select print. Over here, you have your print layout of different picture sizes that you may use. Say, for example, you want a 4x6, or we'll do 5x7. You got the 5x7 image here. And then do you want it on a full page, or do you want it on a, um, on if you have a full page photo paper, or if you have the correct proper size, what you need to do is make sure, again, if you have a small size, what you need to do is make sure that you um, tell the printer that it's not going to print on a full 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper under the printer setup right here. So you see it's currently saying it's 8.5 by 11. If I click the options right here, your options may be slightly different, but I'm going to go over to layout and uh, actually under paper and quality. Um, 
paper size right here, you would change it to the appropriate, you know, five by seven right here. Okay. And now it'll print out properly. If you have a five by seven, if you have a four by six, do the same thing, but four by six, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this cause I don't need to do that. Um, so yeah, there's a quick video just showing you how to upload to Facebook, send through email, export pictures so that they're smaller and you can email those as well or uploading them through Picasa. You can also use the sync to web feature. If you click on this, then items that are uh, selected as the sync to web will automatically go up to your Picasa. I think, I don't know exactly what the file size that you have on Picasa web is. It's probably a couple gig or something. Um, and so just think of it as kind of like a Shutterfly. It's a website that allows you to store a lot of your own personal pictures. In fact, I'll just pull up Picasa web really quick right here so you can see. Oh, I typed that wrong. And so here's some albums that I have uploaded on Picasso web. If I pull up this guy, so this is, you, anybody can access these that I deem to. You can also protect them, but kind of negates the purpose of it. And so you can, anybody can view these pictures right here. You can share them and send it through an email to somebody. So this is a better way to share your pictures via or with friends and family. That way you don't have to send it to 25 people as well. And then when they get the pictures, what they can do is they can download the high res quality right here. See the picture information. Um, they can download the full quality. Let's see, where is it? Actions and download photo. And then they can get the high quality version of the photo. So pretty nice feature about Picasso web. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that this has been an an informative tutorial for you. You can find more information about me, my company, or other tutorials at www.pccomputerguide.com. That's www.pccomputerguide.com. You can also give me a call if you need help with things. I do help via remote access, or if you're in the local Indianapolis area, I'm always happy to help. 317-536-8409, or we have a new number, 317-883-PCCG. That's 883-PCCG. Thanks for watching.